Happy Thursday. Uh, we're going to try this again. This is going to be the third time I've literally made this video. Um, each time, for some reason, my phone acts up. Either the phone battery died the first time, or the second time it said ran out of storage. Uh, evidently, all these videos I've been making, I probably should have uploaded to the cloud. So, less of me talking. We'll make the video shorter. <laughs> it's been fun. Um, hope you're doing well. Uh, so, I've got this. It's one of those little backyard garden trailers that go behind, you know, your tractor. This one's actually pretty big. I mean, you see my foot compared to this thing. Um, this is a really decent size, like garden tractor, or, you know, yard wagon, whatever you want to call it. Um, we use it to just transport things around and so forth. But here's the problem. Somebody used it, and it wasn't me, and bent the, t the actual tongue on it. You can see right there. And oddly enough, it was bent... Op, you know, it was bent this way. I figured it'd be bent the other way, but I guess stranger things have happened. Um, and this did have a coupler on it for a two inch ball. And you can see that somebody, that was me, extended this because before it was too short. We put it behind an ATV and it was actually, we couldn't make turns with it. It would hit on the, um, the tires when we made tight turns. So we extended the hitch out, which probably did lead to the demise of this. It's, you know, this is a pivot point. It's a fulcrum. So, you know, that's exactly where bent to is right there at that edge. Uh, we made this extension out of some angle iron that we actually cut one side down and then welded it up to make our own C channel. Again, being resourceful and just using scrap metal. So we had put that little bit of angle iron bracing in there too, right here and right here. You'll notice that this does have the dump feature where you lift this and this whole thing could tip. However, I put a bolt in it because we never ever use the dump feature. And whenever you drove around, it was so just bangy, you know, clang, 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 clang. So just bolted it. So here's what the, the assignment is for this week. And because we never got to actually build projects and you never really actually got, for the, I shouldn't say uh, nah, not all of us, the majority of us never got to build projects. We weren't finished with our welds yet. And that's okay. It is what it is. So what we need to do is figure out our pro you know what are we going to build well you're going to start a plan and i shouldn't say start you're going to make a plan it's going to be simple it's not going to be as complex as what i normally ask for but we need to fix this um i'd like to actually fix this for tuesday's lesson so with that being said you got one week to complete the assignments don't forget that so i mean if you don't get this done until you know next wednesday it's okay i'll proceed with whatever fix i think you know will work but here's what i'm thinking I need a plan from you. How can I fix this? And there's a big catch. That catch is we've got limited resources. What do I mean by that? I mean, I don't want to go any. Well, Mr. McMullen, just go get a piece of, brand new piece of that channel steel all the way, you know, the full length, and then you, you got it fixed. No. Yeah, that, that would be the best, easiest way to do it, but here's the problem. Uh, we're in the middle of a pandemic, and even though I am a legal farmer and I can go and do things for the farm, this isn't worth me risking, you know, the health of myself and my family or anybody I happen to come in contact with or whatever. Um, I'm not leaving to go get steel. It can wait, but I want to get this fixed. So what do I do? Well, in the depression, you may do with what you had. And guess what? This is no different. We're going to make do with what we have. So what does McMullen have to use? Well, I have some one and a quarter inch wide by eighth inch thick by about 10 feet long strip steel. I've got three feet of half inch round stock. And I've got, oh, assorted nuts and bolts. And I'll go show you that before this is over. How do I fix it? I'll give you the measurements on what everything is. So maybe, you know, you want something a little bit more definitive. So the total length of the tongue measures exactly 61 and a half. The width of this channel steel measures exactly three and whoops, three and one quarter. The height of the channel steel is one and a half and the thickness we're gonna say is one eighth of an inch. I'm not gonna measure again. If you need the measurements, replay the video. But again, I need to fix this so that it's a permanent fix I don't care whether this dumps again or not. So if we got to, you know, remove this to do something, go for it. Your assignment for this week is going to be 
somehow conveying to me a plan on how to fix this. And let me make this very clear. I try to type it up on in the Google assignment as best as possible, but this plan should be complete enough so that you turn in and submit your plan and then pretend like you're moving to Alaska and we're never going to hear from you again. So this plan has to be complete enough and give enough information and be thorough enough so that the person making the repair doesn't have to try to get a hold of you and say, what did you mean when you said this? Or what does this mean? Or, well, I can't tell what this symbol is. Or what's this measurement supposed to be? Take your time on this. This should take you probably about a half hour to 45 minutes to draw up and, and you know, put symbols in, arrows, dimensions, whatever you need to do to convey. If you want to make, you know, a, a video with clay or, or, or what, I don't care. There's no, you know, whatever you would feel is going to be the best way to convey how to fix this. And again, these assignments, they're all or nothing. If you want to turn something in going, oh, you just need to weld up some strip steel on the sides. Okay, how big? How, how long? What size? Give me, again, imagine like you're trying to explain this to somebody and that you're going to be moving away and be out of reach. Couple things in case you need them. I'm going to hold this up right here. And zoom out so that you can see and kind of get an idea on how long this area is. Uh, this support here is three inches. But again, by being just holding up this tape measure here, you should be able to pause it and figure out how big things are. I'm going to go this way with it too. And you can see that three and a quarter inch wide. So again, I don't want to change the tongue at all. It's perfect how it is, except for it is bent. So we got to fix the bent problem. And we got to make it so it doesn't bend again if I put some weight on this thing. How do I do that? Let's go look and see what other resourceful things I have in my garage. I, I know I have nuts and bolts, but I'm going to keep the camera pointing at the ground. So, hey, there's my feet. So forgive me here. Let's see if there's anything else we can use. I think I shut off the TV. I did. So, hold on one second. And what do we got in the nuts and bolts container area? I've got assorted washers, nails, some hinges. Looks like a pulley. Lots of bolts and nuts. Uh, plug for a boat. Again, random nuts, bolts, hinges, and so forth. I'm gonna look and see if I have any other steel. So I'm gonna set you right there. There's, there's a coffee grinder in front of us. I guess if you think the coffee grinder would be important. I don't believe I have any other steel, but I'm gonna double check in a spot back here. Sometimes, you know, I surprise myself by what I have. I have, let me look. I have one piece that's buried back there of a two inch diameter tube that's like two feet long. I, if you think we can use it, that's fine, but we're limited on our resources. I don't really have a lot of steel at home. Um, there's never really any need for me to have any. I'm just looking around real quick. I've got wire for fencing, like, like, uh, it'd be like 12 gauge wire for fencing. It's real rigid. I don't think we can use that, but if you think there's a need for it or it can be a use for it, I'm, I'm, I'm interested. I'm going to look over here real quick in my garage. I know you can't see me. Oh, I found a Okay. What do I got here? I have two railroad spikes that have been welded to a pole that a student made a long time ago as a fire poker. And it looks like the tube is full of cement. It's one inch in diameter and full of concrete. So not sure what that was all about, but it looks like the outside end is possibly an, was an old axle of some type almost. But I have this. We can cut that up for whatever we want. I also have some miscellaneous chain. That's about it. 
So we got to use with what we have. I'm going to sit you back right here because that's a good spot for the camera when I'm talking. I'm going to go put this back. That's what we have to work with. So my comment earlier, it's like the depression. We got to use what we have on hand. We can't really buy anything else. <coughs> So, what do we do? I, I have a pretty good idea. I'm going to take us back outside, so forgive me here. We're going to go right back out to that little trailer. So, I have a pretty good idea of what I want to do, for, like in my mind, but I'm not going to tell you. Because then everybody's just going to say the same thing I'm going to say, and that's not, that's not learning. That's not going to challenge us. So here's our little trailer, and yes, it's upside down right now, if you didn't realize. What do we do to fix it? Get your answers in, you got one week. Um, bragging rights, I'll throw out a shout out. If I select yours and you know, it's, it's better than what I came up with in my mind, then I'll give you some bragging rights. And this is what I really miss about the shop right now. For those of you that have worked on some of the bigger projects with us, it's fun bouncing ideas off of one another. Um, you know, the light bulb, everybody gives credit to Thomas Edison. You know, he had other people working with him, but, and he was bouncing ideas around. Yes, he was the lead inventor. You know, it was well known that if something was invented, he was going to take credit for it, but he wasn't by, you know, it wasn't just him. There was other people working, you know, with him. So it's the same thing with, you know, we're not inventing the light bulb here, but it's the same idea. If we get lots of ideas and we can take and pool those ideas together, you're going to get a lot better results than if it's just one person come up with the same thing. So, something to think about. All right, have yourself a wonderful weekend. Stay home and stay safe. And remember, if you have any questions at all on any of this, shoot me a message and remind. I know I have office hours, it says, but you know me. I'm probably going to answer no matter what. And... Um, you know, unless it's like, like 2 o'clock in the morning. But who knows? Stranger things have happened. All right. Have a great weekend, folks.